Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the SEMrush Pro versus Guru pricing plans just to compare and contrast them and help you find out the perfect pricing plan for you. Aside from that, SEMrush does come with a free trial. I will put a link in the description and if you click that, you can actually get started for free before actually making the decision of which one you want to go with. Let's get started. So first and foremost, when it comes to pricing, Pro is going to be $119.95 of course per month while Guru is going to be $229.95 per month. You can save up to 17% if you go with annually, then Pro comes out to around $99 a month and Guru $191. Moving back to the actual monthly aspect, this is going to be perfect for newbies and small teams. Like if you're just getting started with SEO and you're taking it more seriously, you don't have a lot of team members, you're not really outsourcing or hiring people, that's kind of who it's going to be good for when getting started. With this, you get five projects, 500 keywords to track, and 10,000 re results per report. So it says SEO, social, and PPC tools. You get competitor analysis, keyword research, website audit, advertising, and social media tools, and more. Moving on to Guru, this this is going to be for agencies and mid-sized businesses. So uh, usually you can pretty much tell if you've been doing SEO for a good amount of time, whether you have one, two, three, or a few websites that are doing very well, pretty much you're profitable and paying this isn't going to be a big deal for you because you need backlinks, you need tools on what competitors have and so on and so forth, then yes, this will probably be good for you as well. With this, you get an increase of 15 projects, 1,500 keywords to track, and 30,000 results per report. You get all the pro features plus content marketing toolkit, historical data, multi-location and device tracking, GDS integration, and more. Now, if I scroll down a little bit more, it's going to make our lives so much easier. We can compare and contrast what each of these has. Of course, there's going to be the business one, but we're just talking about Pro and Guru, specifically for the fact that they're going to be probably the most popular pricing plans, as that's usually how it goes. The first one's going to be popular, and then it goes down a little as we move on. So we talked about the projects and the keywords to track. You get keyword domain and backlink anal analytics, but for this, you just get historical data, as we talked about, content marketing platform, and Google Data Studio integration with Guru. Moving on to domain and keyword analytics looking at the two here. So results per report is going to differ from 10,000 to 30,000. You do get historical data. Reports per day is going to go from 3,000 to 5,000. Keyword metrics updates per month is going to be 250 to 1,000. Project features, we have five projects compared to 15. Keywords to track with daily updates, 500 to 1500. You do get mobile rankings. You get one target per project as opposed to 10 with Guru. For keyword cannibalization, report is just going to be under Guru. Pages to crawl per month, you're looking at 100,000 versus 300,000. Pages to crawl per project is going to be the same. SEO ideas units moves from 500 to 800. Pages per OTI campaign, 30 to 40. Social profiles for monitoring, 50 to 100. Own social profiles is going to be 10 to 30. And I'm going to scroll through kind of quickly going through the last ones. As you can see, scheduled PDF reports, 5 to 20, you get Google Data Studio integration. PDF template sharing is going to be for all of them. And this is going to be exclusively for Guru compared to Pro. Obviously, you get it in the uh, business section, but access to the tools, topics to research, SEO content template, pages to audits, and so on and so forth. This is where you're going to be getting a lot more at Guru, of course. Listing management, if you're going to be looking at local SEO, obviously, this is going to be something additional that you can add on. I'm not going to go through pretty much any of these because all the prices are going to be the same across the board if you want to add them. But overall, that's going to be the very quick comparison when it comes to Pro versus Guru. I hope that kind of answered any questions you might have when it comes to using the two, not only the prices, the pricing plans, how you can save, but overall who it's going to be best for when just getting started. Like I talked about, definitely newbies and small teams, you can start at Pro. If you're a much bigger company, you have a really good track record, you have a lot of websites that are profitable and you want to just get a lot of data, a lot more data, and you have plenty of projects to work with, then yes, Guru would probably be for you. And that should conclude this video when it comes to SEMrush Pro versus Guru pricing plans. The link will be down below in case you want to try it for free. It's always good to be able to test drive something for free before actually making any payments, just to make sure and get a good idea that it's going to be perfect for you and your online business, and of course, your SEO efforts. That concludes this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.